Good day and welcome to the dining room table. Vice President Kamala Harris attends the 9-11 World Trade Center Memorial Ceremony in New York City. Please subscribe, like, and share. I want to first offer my condolences to all the lives, to, to the family members of all the lives lost um, during the September 11th attacks. I am a survivor. I was supposed to be in the building, uh, but God had other plans for me to be a block away. Uh, Kamala Harris, uh, the vice president, attended and put out this message to in, on her Twitter. She says, today we stood on hallowed ground to remember the 2,977 lives lost in the September 11th attacks. We will never forget them, and we will never forget the friends and family members who lost loved ones. We stand with you today and every day. If you see from the picture, you have uh, the vice president here, and then you have New York City Mayor Eric Adams. You have New York State Governor Kathy Hochul and, you know, other um, uh, uh, former or current, you know, officials. You have a former Mayor uh, Bloomberg, uh, former Mayor de Blasio was there as well. And right now, New York City, uh, like many other states and other uh, cities, are having a migrant crisis. And former Mayor Bloomberg has spoken about it. We'll cover that. And Eric Adams have spoken about it. Kathy Hochul uh, actually went to the White House to meet with uh, President Biden. And he uh, put her to meet with his, his, his officials, um, his chief of staff. So even though, you know, it, it's a time of um, to remember that day and all those who lost their lives, you can see um, that yes, they came together, but there's something, there's something weird. There's something weird because where was President Biden? President Biden was coming back from Asia and he stopped off in Alaska to do a, um, a ceremony there. It was pretty planned to first responders, people of the military. He was not here on ground, at ground zero, um, not at the Pentagon, not even where uh, uh, the plane had crashed in Pennsylvania. He chose to go to uh, Alaska. And this is the first time in... Uh, you know, the whole year, all the years of 22 years um, since this attack. And he chose not to be at one of those locations. It just makes you think, like, who was doing his schedule? What decision was this? I mean, I don't know. It seems as if he's staying away from New York City. He's staying away from speaking to the mayor. And I, and I believe the mayor, you know, maybe a year ago was like, the son of Biden. So I don't know what has happened here. Uh, they don't seem in, in the videos that they were like, you know, communicating much. Uh, it was a lot of back and forth regarding the migrant crisis. So, it, you know, September 11th was, it, 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 was, it, was, it, was, it was major. It was major uh, history, and I, as I said, I, I was someone who was there. Uh, and and now the mayor says, New York City, <laughs> twenty two years later, is 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 going to be destroyed because of of this migrant crisis. So I don't know. We 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 have to just keep on watching it and seeing what's going on. I did want to just look at them a little closer. And, you know, you can't really tell so much because we are at a, a sad situation.
but you're seeing the three levels of government together or the second in command because President Biden is not there for whatever reason. Uh, you have the, the federal, the, the president's office, the state's office of New York and the city of New York City through a tough migrant crisis, uh, blame being put on, uh, others not feeling like they're supported and helped. What is this saying? You look at Governor Kathy Hochul, and, and, and it seems like it's a tough situation because if this if the mayor is saying that this is this is this this can destroy the city, how would she feel as a governor, right? Um, and, and whether you are Republican, Democrat, whatever you are, and I'm neither, uh, you you have to be concerned. Uh, if these these words are being said, and you're going to see that in another video when he says uh, what's what's happening with our city. But as as a governor, you're looking at it like, OK, am I doing everything I'm supposed to be doing? Uh, and, and keep in mind. This issue is happening in other places but because so much noise is being made now, you're hearing about it a little bit more. Uh, this, this is this is Mayor Eric Adams. It, it must be it must be I don't know painful to see the city. You're the mayor. You see the city. Go through this. You're the governor, and you see it go through the, the city go through this. But remember, this is the message that Vice President Kamala Harris put out. Her face looks different from everyone else's. Mayor Adams' face doesn't look happy. Doesn't. He doesn't look happy. Um, he's been asking for help from the federal government. He's been asking for President Biden's help. He's been asking for uh, uh, an executive order, emergency assistance, funding, the borders, work authorizations, and and they have they're coming together for uh, the September 11th attacks, and they're here. And he, you know. You, you want to be here, you have to be here, but it's hard to sit next to someone who is not giving you that help. And then Governor Hochul's face looks looks concerned, looks nervous. Looks like, what are we going to do? Because we're, we're the state. We got to look to the federal government for assistance and the president who is on our side, our, our party side is they see the crisis and then the president is not even here, not here for the crisis, not here for September 11th. And then you have the vice president who was sent for the president who I'm sure on her way to the, the memorial site, she saw the people sleeping on the streets. She, I mean, yes, you have the security and the cars and all of that, but you look out the window, it's there. And they've been asking for help. And they've been asking for funding for the city, for the state. And it was coming. They had to meet for September 11th. And the, and the president didn't even show up himself. This is pretty, this is pretty tough. So there you have it. Vice President Kamala Harris 
attends the September 11th memorial service in New York City. Please subscribe, like, and share. Until next time, peace.